Hey guys, it's your girl T. So first of all, I know it's been a minute since I've been on camera. Um, I've been really busy. As you guys know, I'm back in LA. So I've been back working on movie and TV sets. And I've also been busy looking for an apartment. So I'm supposed to get my own place at the end of the month. So it's been really, really hectic. But I want to thank everybody who's been donating to me. Because of you guys and your donations, I was able to buy an onboard microphone. So I hope the audio in these new videos are a lot better because my microphone, my internal microphone, on my video camera was starting to go out and I was noticing like how the levels would drop. So thanks to your donations, I was able to get a brand new microphone. So thank you to everyone. So I want to get that out the way. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so everybody has been wanting me to come on and talk about the whole Grammy situation. As you guys know, I was able to kind of watch half the show and live tweet and then I had to get downtown LA, get out to Hollywood. They were doing a bunch of um, Grammy parties and things like that, post Grammy parties that I went to and I had a really good time. But um, I think the biggest controversy of the night was, of course, our favorite rapper, Kanye West, with his crazy self. When he went on stage, he pretended to interrupt Beck. He tried to pull a Taylor Swift 2015, and he shocked everyone, including Jay-Z and Beyonce. And then once they realized it was a joke, everyone started laughing. And it was all good, but of course, Kanye West could not just leave it there on stage. He had to be the center of attention once again. So after the Grammy Awards, they were interviewing him and Kim Kardashian. And his wife has been off the chain lately. She posed naked um, in a magazine where you saw all her bits and cookies and everything else. She put it all out there on Fun Street. And then at the Grammy Awards, she had to never be dressed like damn Ric Flair. I'm like, why is you covered up now, bitch? You done showed us all your goods. She might as well just came dressed in nothing but fishnets. I don't know why she was so covered up that day. So anyway, so while Kanye's being interviewed, once again, he's bigging up Beyonce. He's saying that Beyonce should have won for the best album ever. So it almost made it look like his so-called, you know, joke when he went up on stage to interrupt Beck. It almost made it look like, you know what, it wasn't a joke, that he really was going to go up there because everything he said afterwards was totally insulting to Beck. Beck is a phenomenal artist. He's been around since the 90s. This man plays his own instruments. He writes his own music. And no one was more shocked than Beck that he won the album of the year. Was Beyonce's album good? Yes, it was cool. It was nice. But at the end of the day, Beck really put a lot of work into his album. Beyonce had over 17 writers on just one song alone. You know, Beyonce is talented, but damn, can other people win? I don't understand all this Beyonce hype and Beyonce worship. And I'm a Beyonce fan. I love Beyonce. I love Destiny's Child. But that's where it ends. And I feel like so many people put her on such a high pedestal that it's ridiculous. And for Kanye to kind of go up there and shade back, I wasn't feeling that at all. But the other controversy concerning Beyonce was a whole Odessi situation. And a lot of people would hit me up on Twitter that day like, you know what, T, what do you think about this? Do you think that it's fair that Beyonce is chosen to go sing when she had nothing to do with the summer movie? As we all know, Odessi was in the summer movie. She was playing Mahalia Jackson, and Ledesi has a beautiful voice. She's been out here for a few years, but she does not get a lot of shine. Like I've always said when we watch award shows, she does not get a lot of shine. One, because she's bigger, she's dark-skinned, she's natural, and she's not on stage popping her coochie and showing all her goods. She's actually carrying herself with a lot of self-respect, and as we all know, that doesn't really work nowadays. But I just think that it's very insulting for her to be in the building and for Beyonce to ask to sing the song. Like I said, Beyonce has so much shine. Ledesi will never be on a Beyonce level. Hell, let's keep it 100. None of the Destiny's Child people are on the same level as Beyonce. So Beyonce could have gave Ledesi this one. She could have let Ledesi perform the song. And when people confronted John Legend about it, he claimed that, because initially they tried to make it look like the Grammys chose Beyonce, but then the Grammys came out and they put out an announcement saying that no, they didn't choose Beyonce. Beyonce asked the Grammys to perform that song. Beyonce has hundreds of songs that she could have performed. She should have chose another song that was her own and let Ledesi perform. You know, and when she got up there and she sang the song, to me, yes, she can sing, but she didn't hit all the marks like Ledesi would have because Ledesi killed it when I heard the soundtrack. So, I mean, I just felt like she should have just let Ledesi get her shine. And for John Legend to say that nobody tells Beyonce no, I don't understand that at all. I understand 
understand that it's Beyonce, but why can't anybody tell her no? Hell, people tell President Obama no. So I don't understand why nobody can tell Beyonce no. So I just found that that was just insane. I thought it was kind of insulting, but Ledesi did decide to handle the situation because so many people want to know her thoughts. They want to know how she felt. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this interview of Ledesi talking to E! News about the whole situation. Go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Played Mahalia Jackson yes. in Selma. Yes. They'll be singing Mahalia Jackson's song before the performance by Common and um, John Legend tonight. Yes. Beyonce's singing that song, mm -hmm. but you're in the building. Yes, I'm in the building. Okay, so why aren't you singing that song? <laughs> I don't have a clue, but I will say what I'm excited about is that I had the pleasure of playing an iconic figure in Selma, and the song, Take My Hand, Precious Lord, it's been going on forever. Started with the queen, Mahalia, the queen of soul, Aretha Franklin, yes. then I was able to portray and sing my version of the song, and now we have Beyonce. I mean, her generation will now know this song. So I'm a part of history. You okay. Know, I can okay. look at it like that instead of looking at it as a negative. To yeah. me, it's a great, great honor to be a part of the legacy of a great song by Thomas Dorsey. All right, so you guys just heard Ledesi's interview, and I want to give this woman props. Not only is this woman humble, I love how she, at the end of the day, saw positivity in a negative situation. She could have got on there and clomped and been like, I don't know who Beyonce thinks she is. That's my song, and how dare she? Ledesi carried herself with respect, and she did not allow the interviewer to bait her. And at the end of the day, I think this controversy and what went down at the Grammys is going to do nothing but propel Ledesi's career. It's going to give her a lot of pride. And the fact that she held her own in that interview and that she carried herself well is going to make a lot of people run towards her and want to know more about this woman, Ledesi. So I give her props. And at the end of the day, even though she was not able to perform on the Grammy stage this year, you never know. There's going to be other Grammy shows. She might win a Grammy next year. So instead of all of us just complaining and crying and whining, go out, get Ledesi's album, support her, put some money in her pocket. Money talks, bullshit walks. So if we want to see artists like Ledesi and other not so well-known artists shine and make it, then we have to support them. We have to buy their album. And the only way to do that is to go out and truly support. Don't just complain on Twitter. Don't just say that Beyonce is a drunk bitch. Don't just say that Ledesi should have been up there performing and how unfair this is. Go out and support her. Buy her album, download her album, go on iTunes and support the music. That's the only way for her to really get the recognition and the shine that she deserves. So yeah, the whole situation was crazy to me, but I'm not surprised. It's the Grammys. Um, at the end of the day, the show is really interesting. Um, I did go back and watch a lot of what I missed. Um, so now, if you have not seen both performances, I'm going to go ahead and post a link down below. I have Beyonce's performance at the Grammys. You can watch that on my website. And I also have Ledesi's performance as well and all it is is her singing on the soundtrack to Selma but Ledesi has such a deep spiritual voice like she really moves you so I really felt more emotion I felt more passion she was able to hit those notes like Mahalia Jackson so I kind of give Ledesi props in this situation as opposed to Beyonce I didn't really get the same feeling when she sung this song so anyways go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Kanye West Beyonce, Ledesi, and now the controversy that took place at the 2015 Grammy Awards. So let's get the discussion popping. All right, deuces.